So this is one of the normal uh, distribution questions. A lot of times you'll see this called the empirical rule or the 68, 95, 99.7 rule. And this one is purely theoretical because we're still dealing with the means and the sigmas without actually plugging in real numbers. So this is kind of a fun problem. This question is asking, what is the probability that x is less than mu minus sigma? So less than mu minus sigma, this right here is the mu minus sigma. And we want to know what is the probability that it's less than it. So we're basically being asked, what is the probability of this stuff right here? So we're just going to add up these three numbers. So if we do 0.15 plus 2.35 plus the 13.5, we can just use a calculator to add up those three numbers. And that gives us 16 if we add up these numbers. So the answer should be 16%. And that's it. So the key was this less than right here is what told us to shade less than. And the mu minus sigma told us it was right here. Let's try some more of these. I have a page online with more of these. So let's do some more. I'll put a link down below in the description for this page, but they have the notes for this and it has more of these problems. Let's try number three. Number three says the probability that X is greater than mu minus two sigma. So let's go back up to the notes. So we're gonna use this chart right here. So probability that X is greater than mu minus two sigma. First, let's find mu minus two sigma. Well, that's right here mu minus two sigma. And this says greater than, so we want more than that. So we're gonna shade everything that's greater than it. Well, for this one, we have two choices. We can add up all of these numbers, and that'll give us the right answer. Or as a shortcut, we can just do 100 minus these two, because all these numbers add up to 100, because it's 100%. So either we can add up these six numbers, or we can just do 100 minus 0.15 minus 2.35. I'm going to do the shorter one. That gives me 97.5, and let's check it. It should be 97.5%. 97.5%, that's it. That's how we do it. The greater than tools to shade above, and we shade above the mu minus 2 sigma. So there's a lot more of these you can try out, and they all have answers. I'll put a link down below in the description. Feel free to check it out. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Comment below if you have a specific question, and I'll try to make a video answering it. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Andy, man.